This is a video about bursting crackers in Diwali while Delhi chokes. This is a video about how Samay Raina has got talent in what you ask. Well, he has a very particular kind of talent which is called rage baiting. This is a video about how Twitter is specifically designed to promote this wonderful talent. On all of this, I have a bunch of thoughts. First, let's talk about trolls. In Nordic culture, trolls are slow, dim-witted creatures who live in caves, away from human civilization. When they are bored and uh, they are in a bit of a fun mood, then they come to towns, kidnap people, harass people and cause general mayhem. Then they go away. Then they come back some other time and they keep doing that. That's trolls. Over time, the word troll and trolling has been adopted by the larger internet to describe one very particular kind of person. It's a slang used to describe a person who comes into an online space and then deliberately posts provocative and offensive content. Let me give you an example. Say hello to placard guy Madhur. His Twitter description reads, Travel, lifestyle, mental health, spirituality, yoga only fans. Wait. Yoga only fans? That's the thing now? Okay, I guess anything can be a thing these days. But on the surface of it, you'd think Madhur is a pretty harmless guy. He's a travel influencer type of person. Beach me side me jake yoga karta hai only fans pe. Yeah, normal. It's just, just internet lifestyle things. Well, you're wrong. Very wrong. Because Madhur is a professional troll. Here is what he posted uh, some time ago, just before Diwali. Aja lavna sur, roh lo. I don't know what a lavna sur is, honestly. I have to, I have, I'm ashamed to admit this, but that sounded like an insult. I don't know why. You see, this post is designed to make specific people angry. It is not targeted at fans of loud noises and shiny lights. You know, normal fans of firecrackers. Yes, they exist. People like looking at lights and sounds and shininess. Yeah, I, I, I see the appeal there. But this post is designed to reach those who live in polluted cities like Delhi and who are asking people not to burst crackers which will make it worse. The pollution, it will make it worse. Wait, um, if this is a super complicated issue for you to understand, I feel like it is my moral responsibility to sit down and explain this to you. Okay, so hear me out. Diwali is a festival that we all know and love. What do you do on Diwali? Well, we get to dress up, we eat good food, we spend quality time with family, we eat a lot of sweets, we clean the house, we make everything look nice and we light diyas, do a series of Pujas, it's all very nice. And then we burst crackers. You see, in a city like Delhi during winters, uh, there is a problem that occurs. I'm not sure if you know, but there is a big problem that comes every winter. We have mega pollution. Basically, this city turns into a literal gas chamber. You just can't breathe outside. So it's mostly a combination of cold air, the city being in low-lying area next to a river, stubble burning vehicle and industrial pollution. All of them combined to sort of cause this gas chamber effect. Right now, the air quality index in the city is 59 times higher than the prescribed WHO danger levels. It's bad. Meaning people who have weak lungs, like children and old people, they can develop respiratory issues, permanent respiratory issues, uh, because the air is toxic. Okay, so we all know what, that the government is doing jack shit. Neither the Delhi government is doing anything, neither the central government is doing anything. Everybody keeps blaming each other and we continue to live here like dumbasses. But then Diwali happens. One of the things that people like to do during Diwali is burst crackers, which produces smoke, which pollutes the air even further. Logically, if the air is already bad, then shouldn't the people living in those areas try their best to not make it worse? Especially if the government is not doing jack shit, shouldn't the people maybe try themselves 
to not make it worse because in a place like delhi the activity of bursting crackers then becomes toxic so now what happens is that every diwali there are some well meaning people online who are asking other people not to burst crackers and make the air worse as i said it is a reasonable ask don't you think i mean in a normal logical rational world it would be a normal ask and the people who are taking that information would be like ha huh, i am a fan of fire crackers i mean i do like the sound and sight and ye whatever but at the same time i don't think i'm able to breathe properly i agree let's not make this worse and the other person will be like thank you sir Thank you I I'm glad you see the logic and rationale behind my request it was a request of course you were giving a request i didn't take it otherwise you're so nice i have never had a conversation that is so reasonable before that's because you're not on twitter we are talking face to face yeah because then comes along placard guy madhur who takes logic and throws it out of the window and then he posts something like that and says are launa sur rok le that is a provocation because madhur here is a part of a group of people who take great pleasure in instigating people in the name of religion they connect crackers in diwali with hindu aastha and like to do some pdf on social media public display of faith if you don't know what that means just see my last video on abhinav arora context mil jayega so people like madhur are like if you ask me not to burst crackers you are hurting my religious sentiments what You you asked me not to waste water in holy oi my hearts and sentiments are religious wait what you just requested me to stop doing stupid and illogical things and wasteful things me and my sentiments are hurt my poor little religious sentiments my sad little are hurt i'm very hurt through you Lavana sur oh yes and if you happen to be one of those uh, sensible people who are giving sensible advice asking people requesting that please mat karo thoda dekho bahar if you are one of those people then you will get responses like this also eh hey, hey, dude why you never talk about eating mutton killing goats during bakreed ha huh? or or why don't you talk about cutting trees during christmas ha huh? you you don't see you don't see environment damage during that time ha huh? you why you why you target only hindus ha huh? why basically people who do what about it it is the simplest thing to do mere ko ye kaise bola be usko to tune kabhi kuch nahi bola to fir tu usko pehle bol ke aa fir mere ko bolna what about it so trolls like placard guy madhur are experts in this amazing technique which involves pissing people off and they don't do it because they actually believe in it what they say no nah, no 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 don't 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 be in that false assumption i mean think about it if madhur is a fan of firecrackers he can just buy firecrackers and burst them and enjoy it with his family the lights the sounds is like oh maza aa gaya and be done with it but no he has to put that picture up and he has to call people lavnasur because that will piss people off and if there is one place where trolls and trolling thrives and they get to practice their craft on a daily basis it's in a ah yes twitter twitter at this point of time is like a pit full of trash and people like me go in dive in and then we hunt around and then we try to find information out of that trash that is interesting and amusing but then came along this dude called Elon Musk and he poured petrol all over the pit and set it on fire now he watches the world burn and laughs in your face and mine too you see it's not a novel statement to say that twitter is a toxic place it has always been a toxic place but now it has been taken to the next level elon musk bought this pit of trash in 2022 it's been 2 years of absolute cluster free and mayhem on that website trust me because i have been rummaging around in this dumpster 
राइट फ्रॉम द बिगिनिंग टू थाउजेंड नाइन से बट इन केस यू आर आउट ऑफ द लूप और यू आर समन हू कैप्ट अवे फ्रॉम ट्विटर लाइक यू कैप्ट अवे फ्रॉम एन अनमास्ट पर्सन ड्यूरिंग कोविड देन आई नीड टू गिव यू अर रिकैप ऑफ वॉट ई लॉन हैज बीन अप टू एंड वॉट ही हैज डन ऑन दैट प्लेटफॉर्म वन ही रिमूव्ड ब्लू टिक्स Old Twitter used to give out blue ticks to authenticate people who are public figures. It signaled to users that the person who is posting on the platform is a legit real person or an organization. Now you can argue about how they gave out those blue ticks. It was kind of shady and arbitrary at times, but still it gave information on the website with some sort of authenticity and made people posting that information a bit responsible. Then Elon came along with his petrol car tank. and and made it a a paid thing. Now anyone and everyone can pay to get a blue tick. It's no more an indicator of authenticity, but it indicates that the person is paying Elon Musk. Yeah, yeah, I I see it too. I I I pay Elon. I know. Oh my God, sue me. But let me tell you a reason why I do that. Number two, Twitter now. pays its blue tick users yeah that's right in case you didn't know everyone who gets a blue tick is now eligible for their creator program basically i get paid based on the number of views that my tweets are getting because twitter pushes ads even in the replies now and it's all over your timeline so if i'm making sure that you stay on the platform by posting content there the platform pays me it's a little bit like what youtube does क्रिएटर कॉन्टेंट डाल रहा है तो उसको पैसा दो इंसेंटिवाइज करो द मनी आई मेक इज नॉट मच बट आई एम गेटिंग ऑलमोस्ट लाइक एट टू टेन एक्स ऑफ वॉट आई एम पेइंग इलॉन ऑनेस्टली इट्स नॉट अ बैड डील वेन यू थिंक अबाउट इट दैट वे विच ब्रिंग्स अस टू नंबर थ्री इलॉन्स एक्स आई एम आई एम सॉरी आई आई नेवर कॉल इट दैट आई इट जस्ट साउंड सो व्यर्ड वेन आई से इलॉन्स एक्स I'm on X. I post on X. Ugh. Uh, it's Twitter. Anyway, Elon's Twitter gives you extra features also, like an edit function, reader mode for threads, ability to post longer tweets and do more bakwas, stuff like that. Oh, and it also shows you less ads because Twitter ads are annoying as hell. Like this ad which appeared when I was going through placard guy's post. Muhammad Al Isa is asking me to follow him on X. Why? Why is why is this a thing? Here's another one. Coinex Global is selling some crypto scheme on pre-token trading. I don't know about you, but that just looks like a scam. Yeah, token tha ab kya pre-token? When you see like terms like these appear out of nowhere, you don't even have to think about it. It's just a scam. You can look at it. It's a scam. Oh, and just when I thought it can't get worse than this, can it? Well, this appeared. Doctor Ajayta is asking men to perform like the champions that we are. Hmm. How come wink, 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 wink? <laughs> This is basically the digital version of Dr. Verma sexologist Gupta Rog se bachiye posters that you find in villages all across India. So Elon Musk has been calling Twitter the world's town square where people will gather to discuss and debate ideas with full free speech, challenge each other, increase the global IQ I guess. but it's not that twitter is actually a wall in some tier 2 indian town where people stick posters all the time men come and pee on it uh, there is some spray painting going on with like uh, provocative slogans happening then someone just comes in and posts their mobile number for no reason and it is just basically absolute chaos and nonsense that's twitter so mota mota the three things that i just told you that elon has done is what i described as a setting a trash pile on fire because the consequences of all this has been horrendous currently the incentive on twitter is not to provide information or cover the news or have a conversation or do anything remotely productive at all it is to get a blue tick then post shit that gets as many views as possible so that you can earn money and if there is one thing that keeps people on twitter and keeps making them go back to it it is outrage
ओके फ्रेंड्स सो हियर्स अ हॉट टिप आई नो यू कम टू माई चैनल टू लर्न न्यू थिंग्स सो इफ यू वॉन्ट टू सक्सीड ऑन थ्राइव ऑन ट्विटर यू नीड टू लर्न Take a look at this perfectly normal conversation on Twitter between YouTuber Sham Mira Singh and comedian Samay Raina. Sham says, "Okay, I'm translating here. The Sanghis have created such an environment that no civilized person today can say that one should be cautious on Diwali. On top of that, to get the support of opportunist devotees like." Samay Raina they say quote do whatever you want to do the downfall of society does not happen when bad people increase but when good people stop speaking to which Samay Raina responded apni gaand mat jalao patake jalao bhai yeah okay translation don't burn your ass light firecrackers brother this my dear friends is uh, the perfect example of rage baiting and don't get me wrong both sham and samay were doing rage baiting here rage baiting in simple words is when you are being baited to outrage about something to feel angry to lose your shit and then to react sham indirectly called samay an opportunist sanghi and someone who is responsible for the downfall of society he also tagged him which is a direct invitation to get angry now samay took the invitation got angry and responded by asking sham to not burn his ass and burst firecrackers perfectly normal perfectly normal on twitter honestly this happens all the time so technically sham baited samay to get angry and he did he posted something to make sham angry and then he did and then this drama evolved further into more rage baiting sham went on to point out that samay asked people not to burst crackers in 2020 now he is asking people not to do it then samay responded saying ideologies can change with time and sham bada chutiya hai I mean, he literally said that bola usne again perfectly normal on twitter then sham called samay out for using galis to look cool to which sham, samay posted a picture of sham burning crackers on diwali with a child i yeah again hota hai normal on twitter okay now let me ask you a question what did you learn in all of this drama No seriously is there any value that you inherently gained from this particular conversation that made you a better more informed person the answer is no it didn't but i think the better question to ask here is how did you feel after looking at all this drama if you are a sham meera singh fan then did you think are sham bhai kya mast कॉल आउट किया है इस साप संघी समय को है मीडियोकर कमेडियन साला टैलेंट वाला बोलता है एजी बनता है बार बार चल भाग एंड इफ यू आर समय रायना फैन डिड यू थिंक अरे समय भाई क्या मस्त लाफा मारा है एकदम स्लैप बैक ओनली मतलब रिवर्स उनो ऐसा फेंक के मारा मतलब एकदम चेकमेट ही कर दिया आपने गांड वाली जो लाइन जो बोली है ना मस्त मारा है सर आपने एकदम क्या समय भाई If you are fans you will be highly entertained by these favorite creators of yours who are slapping each other around virtually it's very amusing not gonna lie and uh, lage hath mujhe bhi content de diya thank you sham and samay for for uh, clickbait content thank you but if you are not a fan of either of these gentlemen then you'd probably feel something too anger maybe uh, maybe you're angry at samay for being a hypocrite or towards sham for being an annoying woke person who should just mind his own business why is he advising people aise kyu kar raha or were you upset because the words gand and chutia were used in this a particular conversation i mean i don't know how sensitive you are did you go yaar what is this filthy mouth behavior yaar aisa kaun baat karta hai yaar kya yaar pura trauma response aa gaya mere ko mere ko bachpan mein mera jo bully tha na wo bolta tha ye sab yeah trauma yeah i thought so too but then after feeling all the feels uh, do you feel like um hmm ab iske baad kya hua waise did samay respond back did sham say anything further no kuch to hua hoga na uske baad oh 
ओ अच्छा ओ कुछ नहीं कुछ नहीं ओ लुक व्हाट दिस ब्लैक कार्ड गाय इज पोस्टिंग नाउ ओ माय गॉड व्हाट इज दिस व्हाट व्हाट यर यू मधुर व्हाट द फ मैन शट द फ अप माय लंग्स आर डाइंग हियर मधुर व्हाट इज दिस दिस माय फ्रेंड्स इज द आर्ट ऑफ रेज बेटिंग वेदर यू लाइक इट और नॉट posts and interactions like these will pop up in your feed and force you to feel things horrible things non productive things which lead you nowhere and you you're still hooked to twitter it's just it's bad so if you are in a situation like that what do you do on that i have a bunch of thoughts no one ever got to do The best advice I can give you right now is to keep away from Twitter. If you already have kept away from Twitter, congratulations, you are a smart person. I am not. Yeah, if you are someone like me who is already hooked to this blasted trash pile platform, then try to reduce your usage maybe. But if you are someone who wants to play on human emotions and earn money, then go ahead and jump into this burning dumpster fire. I think you will love it here. You will be able to rage bait anonymously while earning money because the platform is literally built for you. Before you go here is something worth thinking about. People like placard guy Sham Samay and even me to a certain extent are a result of how social media is designed and what it incentivizes right now twitter incentivizes out and out triggering content if you post content that causes others to have an angry negative reaction and react to it the algorithm will push it further show it to more people causing more outrage then it's an outrage spiral the creator who makes the content which is you will obviously earn some sweet sweet money as a result and you don't have to give a shit about other people's mental health right i mean money makes you feel great so now the incentive is to do that more yeah twitter is still kind of a good place to get information on news and current affairs and to look at cute animal videos it is you need to search though for that you need to dig very deep nowadays it doesn't just show up on your timeline you have to actively jump in wade through the burning trash as is the karke then find that little nugget of information that you want and for that you need a lot of patience and mental strength if you don't have it don't do it but if you do please do watch your emotions when you do it if something you read is rage bait if it makes you feel angry then do not react you're just feeding the trolls and making them richer and while simultaneously ruining your mental health while this other random dude is asking you to follow them and some doctor is asking you to perform better as men yeah it's 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 bad just 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 keep away yeah thank you for watching friends thank you so much for watching this video uh, we are going to do some live streams this week uh, us elections are happening so yeah, i'm also writing a video on that so you will see a video in bunch of thoughts soon about the us elections but uh, we will be doing an extensive coverage of the us elections on wednesday at 9 pm ist and thursday at 9 pm ist followed by a call in radio on friday at 9 pm ist to discuss the elections as well so if you are someone who wants to know more about the us elections or follow it from my perspective then please do come subscribe to channel and come for live stream 9 pm ist on wednesday thursday and friday i will see you there bye bye